Unit 4, Formative 1, Day 4. Today we're going to be talking about power of a power. Okay, this video is going to be over the next couple days material. So it's there's eight problems. There's kind of a lot of stuff. So be prepared to go back and maybe rewatch it a few times if necessary. Alright, x to the m to the n equals x to the m times n. Okay, so if you remember previously, when it was x to the m times x to the n, see how you can see two x's there? you added the exponents. Well now when it's x to the m and it's the power to the power, okay, with the parentheses, all right, then you actually multiply the exponents. For instance, number one, x to the third to the fifth, okay, since it's a power to a power, okay, it becomes x to the fifteenth. If it was x to the third times x to the fifth, then it would be x to the eighth. Okay, so if you don't see double bases, you are multiplying. If you see two bases, you need to add. So number two, m to the fourth to the negative two becomes m to the negative eighth. Well, we can't leave a negative exponent, so it's on top, so I need to move it to the bottom. There's nothing else in that problem, so you put a one on top. Number three, p to the negative three to the zero. Remember, anything to the zero is one, so that really just goes away, and you're left with p to the second. Two x to the third to the fourth. <coughs> it's just kind of like distributing but you're distributing a power. So this isn't 2 times 4, it's 2 to the 4th, and x, 3 times 4 is 12, okay? And then 2 to the 4th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, x to the 12th. Okay, number 5, 7x to the 3rd, y to the negative 2, all of that to the negative 3, so really this is like 7 to the negative 3, x to the now 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. y to the negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Now anything with a uh, negative exponent needs to be moved to the bottom. So on top, the only thing that has positive is y to the 6. So y to the 6 stays on top. 7 to the 3rd goes to the bottom. x to the positive 9 goes to the bottom. And 7 to the 3rd is 343. So this becomes, sorry, y to the 6th over 343x to the 9th. Okay, so the main mistake that happens a lot is you forget to do the exponent with the number. Okay, so make sure you do the exponent to every single thing. All right, number 6, negative 2x to the 5th, y to the 10th, all of that to the 0. Remember, anything to the 0 power is just 1. Okay, a couple more. Simplifying 2 times 10 to the negative 10, all of that to the 3rd. This is like taking 2 to the 3rd times 10 to the, now negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. Okay, well 2 to the 3rd is 8 times 10 to the negative 30. Now you ask yourself, is that still in scientific notation? Yes, because that's a single digit. Alright, so you're done with that one. Number 8, 3 times 10 to the negative 3, all of that to the negative 5. Okay, this is like 3 to the negative 5 times 10 to the negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. Okay, 3 to the negative 5 is 1 over 3 to the 5th times 10 to the 15th. Okay, 1 over 3 to the 5th is really 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. which is 243 times 10 to the 15th. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.